the time to be moving better for me than for you. We were separate. The truth was excluded. The water's boiling, but it's too much for one. And if I had one day. I'd gamble it away And if I had one wish I'd break all the rules with you Ah, the desperate do pray Ah, the wicked do hate The distance is growing My summer love set straight Did you even hit back? Did you check the bunch for facts? Now, here we go again And if I had one day, I'd gamble it away. And if I had one wish, I'd break all the rules with you. Worries pass like breaking glass Shaky hands for hours A single hole resides below Standing up for not to cower The picture still hurt I lie to you with words I never saw it coming if I had one day, I'd gamble it away. And if I had one wish, I'd break all the rules with you. I'm going to read a poem. Uh, from my uh, collection of dog poems. And this poem is largely informed by my long academic career. And it is called Skunked. <laughs> Encounters can be that way. Sorry, little dog. Didn't I warn you to watch out for those wearing striped suits who like to puff themselves up, put you in your place with their stinking arsenal? Didn't I tell you not to be fooled by those gumdrop eyes? They may look harmless, intriguing, maybe a little slow the way they waddle, Cute, in fact, until you realize the terms of your contract, the one you worked your butt off for, and just when you expected tenure, your publications all set up like bowling pins. Here they come with their accountants, straight from legal with HR on their side. And no matter your bark or show of teeth, you still got a little too close with the sniffer. I know you were just trying to figure them out, whether or not they sh like the rest of us. <laughs> An honest <coughs> mistake in your table set prematurely, knives flashing, butter about to go down on the bread. 
Never butter your bread or underestimate the burn to the eyes or how long it takes to rid yourself of the stink. Who wants to bathe in dish detergent mixed with vinegar and baking soda? Just be glad you got out of this alive and don't forget, it's never that black and white. <laughs> The shortest poem and out of nothing goes like this at the museum, which is a little bit what um, Alicia talked about in her Alexander Calder uh, poem. The guide is here, the guard is there. Temptation everywhere. But the one, what I want to do today is to particularly honor Mr. Harlem 125 today. I just found out this morning this won the Willow Review Award for the year. Beholding boldly. Behold peach. Here is its label, five letters in the snug paper tube covering neck to ankle, its tiny waxen cylinder, tight as a Victorian collar from the age of empire and encyclopedia. Not quite a candle, it has a point to it, not a sharp one, but enough for us to suspect there is a point to peach. Both when in the box, standing upright, at rest by its orange and yellow neighbors, and when loosed on the world to record the genius of a five-year-old mind's inveterate invention. Two, now hold a peach. Feel the cool skin, the suspicion of fur, and look at its various hues and tints and shades. Hold the crayon, see above, next to it and see all the areas different from peach. Depending on the peach in you, you might not find a single spot of peach upon the peach. Three, now behold white. Four, now take a look at me. Forget about beholding. Feel my warm skin and show me where a single spot of me matches the cast wax color. If you love me well, you can look everywhere on the surface of my skin. If you don't, or if we haven't met till now, then trust those who have seen the remotest millimeters of my exterior and felt the beginnings of the rest of me when they say, five, why you're not white at all. Not here? Not anywhere, for it is true, I am of color. Of colors, if you prefer, no matter what the census circles say, no matter who you are, I am like you. And all the rest, each at least as unpeach as the peach. Six, and when we love each other, in the heart, in the mind, in the dark, of an intimacy, or just in this poem, indistinguishable in you as you. Whether you're a peach, apricot, apple, or plum. Seven, let us stand on earth then proud, upright as crayons in a box eight billion strong, naked, hatching finally from our wrappers, shedding the labels of some profit-making concern. Each sheath a fortress wall or moat of light years, twixt our soul's incredible single nature. And let the genius of an intrepid creator behold and make bold and wondrous natural use of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cheryl. It's nine on Monday morning. I haven't much to do. I've made myself some coffee. Gonna read the paper, too. I go to get the paper. I open the front door. And then I think of something I should purchase at the store. Look for pen or pencil to write the item down. 
there's pencils in the office, so I go and turn around. I walk into the office, I see that bills are due. I grab a chair and sit me down and write a check or two. See where this is going? And then I think of Annie, her birthday's coming soon. I'll need to write a song for her before another moon. But something else is bugging me, a thing that I forgot, a thing that I was doing when my coffee still was hot. So I walk into the living room, the answer must be there. Why is the door open? The newspaper. Now that's the truth about 80, the thing that's hard to do, to keep our minds on just one task until we see it through. Now I'll go and read my paper, heat up that cup of joe, and if you see yourself in me, I hope you'll tell me so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about community and, and place, and this next song is kind of a celebration of of place and how you can, you know, turn places into your own new communities. Um, and I wanted to share that that's also how I feel about Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. I've been coming since I was a wee one at this point, and uh, it always feels like home. So thank you all for making it so special. Uh, this is a song called Providence. kid fool singing college kid blues wearing smiles and no shoes and two years in this place has drained the color from my face but put wind in my hair and the jewelry vendor who says he's from Spain starts to pack up his table it starts to rain and he's made some new jewelry he found a new wife says it took me 63 years just to know what i like will i unfold with you or grow cold with you or grow old with you oh providence in a year or two I remember you the way you want me to Oh, Providence, will I, I And the girls who fly in their flocks With their honeycomb locks Preen themselves as they walk The man who sits on the step Exhales decades of breath Asks for a cigarette And his body will sit there As his mind races miles Getting high off of other people's flickering smiles and when honeycomb birds get to fly away south he'll sit there with a second hand smiles on his mouth will i unfold with you or grow cold with you or grow old with you oh providence in a year or two i remember to oh providence and will I, I crash through your oceans swim through stories of the people around will I, I float through your rivers pass through without making a sound Oh, 
We were those college kid fools Singing college kid blues Wearing smiles and no shoes And soon I'll be gone from this place Just a forgotten face But I won't forget you Thank you. Is my mother's love songs. My mother's eyes shined, her sensuous desire. She'd hold a drink in one hand and a cigarette in the other. Her joy was to tell me about Broadway shows. And now, whenever I hear Buradine's Nocturne in D minor, I knew it as Kismet. I know how she loved music. Dawn's promising skies, petals on the moon drifting. Imagine this in one perfect one. Words spoke to her soul, fantasy that was truly her own beloved. I watched her imagine love through music in that time. The shape and contour of her eyebrows seductive, a tiny mole above her lip. I breathed with her as she sipped her first martini. That's the one that I wanted to get in there with the trees and the down trees. Thank you, everyone. Me the sun on a rainy day. Now there's castles of sparkling diamonds, once only clay. And in your eyes, I see dreams I thought long ago swept away. New life's just beginning. Now there's only winning. joy first and ever joy love sends me out to Jupiter and calls me back again see the stars touch the moon use Big Dipper for your spoon joy's everlasting Sights far outlasting, fireworks of rainbows blasting and blasting. First joy, first and ever joy, a miracle of unmatched madness, living with. Healing sadness, connecting hearts together, love's promise forever, forever and ever, love's here. In and through our lives, love keeps weaving. Now that everything's in blue, what's there to do? Tiptoe barefoot on the moon. Tiptoe barefoot. Thank you.
So this is a, a little poem about another, another store called the Anger Mart. I'm st stopping by the Anger Mart to pick up some things to be upset about. <laughs> They're having a sale on illegal immigration, but it smells fishy, even though they insist there's no hatred in it. I could linger all day in the NRA aisle, <laughs> but time is running short, so I grab a box of Trump tweets, a can of Sean Hannity stew, and head on, head on over to the checkout counter. On my way to the register, I notice some casualties in Afghanistan there in the middle aisle. For fatalities, they seem underpriced, and the label tells me why. Civilians, non-white, it says in fine print. The Anger Mart is not a good place to get tragic news, so tomorrow when I have more compassion in my wallet, I'll pay a visit to the Sorrow Store. <laughs> So this is, this is a poem also about love, but kind of from a different angle. It's by the poet Lee Hunt. I don't know how many of you have ever heard of him, her. Jenny kissed me when we met, jumping from the chair she sat in. Time, you thief, who loves to put sweet things into your list, put that in. Say I'm weary, say I'm sad, say that health and wealth have missed me. Say I'm growing old, but add, Jenny kissed me. This is the worst allergy season ever. 
People that never had them, have them. People that have them, have them worse. People that had them worse, are heavily medicated. <laughs> and now, your local forecast. A mood swing advisory is in effect following a surge of unpleasant airborne pathogens. Hypersensitive people are advised, stay indoors indefinitely. <laughs> Spring is my worst season. Pollen is everywhere turning me into a cranky, ghoulish ogre. Everything is too bright, too loud, and I haven't even opened the front door. Summer. Surely my worst season. You see a beautiful summer rain. I see an army of airborne mold spores on the attack. These microscopic parasitic fungi are armed and dangerous. Autumn. Absolutely my worst season. Watery, itchy eyes, stuffy head, and I always look stoned. Ragweed has waged war and is winning. This lowly, contemptible weed commands respect. Winter. Truly my worst season. Musty heat vents, fireplaces, wood stoves, and dust mites living in everyone's carpet, bedding, and furniture. It's enough to make you vomit or sneeze. One or the other because you can't do both. And then there's cigars, cigarettes, pipes, perfume, cologne, mothballs, and those obnoxious auto air fresheners. The whole thing just gives me the willies. Then, the terminology. Phlegm, mucus, moist, secretion. Ugh. And now, for your local forecast. A high-pressure system gives way to emotional flooding in low-lying areas. Hypersensitive people are advised, always use protection. For more on allergies in your life, visit us at wheezysneezy.breathe. Again, that's wheezysneezy.breathe. Thank you. Uh -huh.